It's back to work, school, and the almost impossible daily commute here in Boston at this, after the city is buried by several snowstorms. The MBTA buses and subway service resumed after a shutdown yesterday. BUTV News reporter Alex Hirsch is standing by in Kenmore Square with this live report on the morning rush, slush, and snow this hour. Now, the MBTA has just released a statement online stating that they are expecting a lot of delays, specifically with the red and the orange lines. We are expecting a little bit more snow today that will pile on top of these monuments of snow standing behind me, but it is not expected to affect public transportation. People are out and about today braving the cold weather as Kenmore is once again alive. Boston is back in business. Professionals are headed back to work and students are headed back to school after Boston was hit with yet another major snowstorm these past two days. City and school workers continue to work hard in frigid temperatures, clearing tracks and sidewalks so the citizens of Boston could make their commute. After the majority of public transportation was shut down yesterday, the T opened back up on a limited schedule, causing delays for many people. It was a slow ride in. Uh, but we got here and we're doing great. So we were a little bit late, but that's fine. It was a little bit longer than usual. I usually take the MBTA commuter route, and um, the trains are running really late this morning, so about an hour extra to to school. But other than that, it wasn't too bad. While Boston is experiencing delays, it is nice to at least be up and running. Professionals are behind at their jobs, and some students have missed as many as six days of school. I, I've missed a lot of Monday classes, and I still haven't had one of my Monday classes, actually, so, yeah. While Boston tries to get back on track, more snow is expected this Thursday and into the weekend. Now, some schools have already released statements stating that certain classes will be taking place on the weekends, including the buildings will be open for students to work on projects. Hopefully, that will help students get back on track. Reporting live from Kenmore, I'm Alex Hirsch with BUTV News at noon.